guys, it's me, Peter Elvich. My first experience is your Keating Class 1. I said thank you guys for your school awesome video. This video is part of blindness.edu, the series where we're talking about different blindness and visual impairment topics, both to educate people people as well as tell different types of uh, tips and tricks that you guys can use in your daily lives. So let's get right into it. Um, this particular video is all about, like, the, the question basically is, is how do blindness or visual impaired people... Uh, basically designate what's on the uh, outer shell or outer part of like a bottle or a box or different things like that to distinguish, you know, like maybe instructions or what the product is, all these different things. Um, first, I would like to recommend that you guys go and check out the other video that I did about uh, how we navigate grocery stores. That will give you a lot of information that's kind of kind of be repeated into this one. Uh, but let's get into it. So uh, whether it be pill bottles, whether it be um, different types of products, whether it be price tags, whether it be um, product, uh, kind of like health, uh, I can't think of the, the proper term, health guidelines, um, not health guidelines, um, uh, uh, health labels, I can't think of it, but you guys know what I'm talking about, so is you know, the label statistics of the different types of uh, ingredients and things. Um, Basically, what you do is that there's numerous different ways of doing this. For those who are visually impaired, um, you can use what's called uh, electronic magnifiers. You can use your iPhone, iPhone's camera to zoom in as well. Uh, there's all sorts of different types of different tips and techniques that you can use in that particular uh, way to designate whether if you're buying something or if you're looking for something or if you're out and about. Um, those of what you can do for visual impairment is I would recommend looking into, um, you know, different types of magnification apps on your iPhone or iPad, uh, different types of, uh, electronic magnifiers or basic magnifiers that have just batteries and a light with different magnification lenses. It really depends on how much magnification you need, how much sophistication you need. Um, uh, excuse me. And, um, the other thing to think about, too, is that when you're using these devices is your user ability, too, is like your battery life, your simplicity for your buttons and how to navigate things. Uh, it's just something to think about when you are looking at these different types of, uh, of uh, strategies. Now, for those with non-vision, without visual, uh, a visual experience or visual ability to um, consume information, basically here's what you do. is that There is a technology called OCR technology. OCR technology is object character recognition uh, software. Basically what it does is that you take a picture of a label or of a side of a bottle or a box, or maybe it is your pill bottle, maybe it is a prescription, whatever it is. You take a picture of it and it will read the text off of it for you. Um, However, uh, I want to say a few things. First thing is OCR technology is not completely finished yet. Okay, there are still a lot of issues with OCR technology. However, um, some programs, some applications, there's applications for mobile devices, there's, there's um, software that you can buy uh, for different types of computers, you can also get different types of devices, but... Um, with with having some flaws, um, OCR technology is a major step forward. There is a lot of positivity with it um, because it does still work. It just it has glitches here and there. But I figure if you get the majority of you know the label or of things that you're looking for, you kind of get a general idea of what uh, the product is because it's really pretty good. Um, the reason why I'm saying this is because certain devices, like if you have an OCR device, it will tell you how to place the device at times uh, as orientation and all this different stuff. Versus if you use like an Android or an iPhone uh, app that has OCR on it, it doesn't necessarily tell you um, at times like what orientation or how far away or things like that you need to be to get a clear image. So it's not 100% perfect, but... I recommend everybody trying different tr different strategies out and different types of applications to figure out what they prefer and what works best for them. Um, personally, for me, uh, I haven't used too much OCR technology. I've used some on my phone. I've used some on my iPad. But as far as using different types of uh, assistive technology, I have not done that yet. However, I do... Uh, I do think that I will be starting to move into that particular type of era going into... Um, uh, blindness and visual impairment training. Well, a little bit more of it. I've already had training, but uh, with some changes in my vision, <clears throat> I need to uh, explore some non-visual avenues. Um, anyways, getting back into it. So looking at it for like a non-visual standpoint, I would recommend looking into OCR technologies, different types of devices that can scan different types of labels. 
um, particularly ones that will tell you, you know, how far away you are or, or uh, tell you whether it's a good rotation or bad rotation. I mean, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of OCR technology, by the way, too, that will allow people to take pictures of things upside down or sideways or whatever, and it will still orientate it regularly so that it's readable and understandable, not only for you, but for the device as well. Um, I would also recommend too that if you get an OCR technology software but it does not have speech with it, um, use VoiceOver with some of them. Some of them are very compatible with VoiceOver uh, so that you can have a speech implemented um, screen reader with your text because there's a lot of them that will make text but they won't read it to you. So that's just something else as well. Um, otherwise, I mean, it's pretty... It's I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, going forward um, from that point, like besides being kind of new products, uh, I would say that uh, people do Braille their, you know, they do Braille their different types of um, foods or labels. Um, you know, they do designate them in different orders and arrangements, organization patterns. Uh, depends on who you are and where you're putting things, whether it be in cupboards, whether it be in shelves, whether it be on the counter. Um, you know, it's, it's very easy to get, um, it's very easy to get Braille labels. Um, however, this, at least from my personal experience, they're a little pricey, but, uh, it is something that you can get assistance with also through your local state agencies. But that's another way of, if it's not a brand new product to you, or if you're not exploring it for the first time, that if you're, that if you're wondering like how people designate, you know, like what's on a box or what particular food they're grabbing or anything like that, it could be Braille labeled. It could be organizational, uh, all sorts of different things. It really just depends on the person that you are, uh, working with or that you're talking to, or you know what I mean? So, uh, that is, that's basically it. I hope I answered your question. If I don't, if I didn't, Leave it in the comments below because I'd love to know um, what I need to focus on next. Uh, whether you have blindness, visual impairment, or you have full sight, I'm looking for questions, comments, all those great things. Uh, otherwise, that is pretty much it. So remember that perseverance is your key to the impossible, and I will see you guys in future blindness.edu videos.